My name is Mark Campbell. I'm a Virginian from way back when and uh, grew up in Waynesboro, Virginia, and studied architecture at University of Virginia and moved to Richmond to work for most of my life. After architecture, I went into playing music around the state and neighboring states. And most recently, I've been a landscape painter. So I moved to Richmond in uh, 1978 to work for an architectural firm and uh, looked at the beautiful river and said, oh, it's a, quite, a, quite a ride. By the end, we were getting tossed all around and I remember holding on to that uh, a pylon of electrical tower out in the middle of that rapid at one point. From then on, we respected the James River. But the next morning, my mom knocked on the door and says, look out the window. And I could see the South River was completely covering the neighborhood down below. We soon found out that the, up to 30 inches of rain had fallen on Nelson County overnight. The, the Route 29 bridge was just standing by itself. No, no abutments coming up to it, but was surrounded by 15 feet deep worth of trees and a house was turned upside down in the middle of all that. They were excavating and they were finding old bateaus down in the mud at the bottom of the, uh, what used to be a rail yard there. They'd log and build these bateaus or just bateau and take their farm products and float them down the river. There was no radio, you know, there was no iPod. You just took your fiddle with you and people would swap tunes all up and down. So this music was being spread all up and down the James River, the Ohio River, the Mississippi River. And that was the way that people communicated. It wasn't stuck in the mountains. It wasn't stuck in the hollers. It was being passed up and down along these rivers. At some point in there, I just pulled out my easel and I just painted the backyard and it did pretty good. So I said, you know, I'm gonna go down to the river because everyone in Richmond loves that river. I have one painting with me today that is of the river on a foggy morning. You know, I want people to experience the rivers like I had, feeling as if you're getting your toes in the water and uh, experiencing the river as I did as a kid. I have uh, always enjoyed living along the James River. I found that I can't leave the hardwoods and the large stones in the rushing river of the James. It's an inspiration. Driving over it is beautiful every time. It's been an inspiration to me to both play music and paint.